Right, let's listen to some tunes, clean up a little bit. Wait a minute, is one side so much louder than the other? I know why, and we can fix that. All right, ladies, gentlemen, Ryan here, Silly Reviews. I am trying a new microphone here, so bear with me. Here's what we're talking about. You can see here, I have a pair of common, common form factor at least, Bluetooth earbuds, okay. I noticed that one of my earbuds, it was in particular the right side. I've already addressed it, I'll show you what I did, but it was, the volume was significantly lower. And if you're, if you're wondering why the volume on one side of your earbuds, and they can be Bluetooth, non-Bluetooth, you'll see why in just a moment, if you're wondering why the sound has decreased and for me the sound on the right side decreased to a level that made it intolerable to listen to podcasts music anything on these earbuds initially you may think that the sound quality is due to the mixing on whatever the the source is that you're listening to right so you may have downloaded a movie and it's just the entire movie the levels the right level is just significantly lower than the left but after you listen to this movie and this podcast and this youtube video and, and whatever on netflix and it's always lower on one side or you just kind of paying attention and noticing the overall volume on both sides which could happen is lower than what you remember and you don't think that you're experiencing hearing loss but it's your device here's what you can do now keep in mind there is risk involved with this the risk is to the hardware itself because you're going to be eliminating a safety measure, something that was engineered to protect the earbuds and possibly protect your ears. So if you take off, most earbuds similar to this are going to have silicone tips. All you have to do is pull your silicone tip off. You can easily put that back on. If you notice in here where the sound comes out, there's going to be, well, there's probably going to be earwax. There's going to be a lot of earwax. Now let me see if I can grab uh, more light to focus in on this. Okay, here we are. You're going to notice gunk in there, and, and that is gunky, okay? Take a look at the uh, the link right here if you want to watch me dig out earwax from a bunch of different earbuds anyway you'll notice there's a lot of gunk in there you can try this isn't really going to work but you can try taking a q-tip put a little alcohol in there and you can try just removing the earwax what you're probably doing is you will get a little earwax a little gunk on your q-tip but you're more than likely just compressing it into where that diaphragm is making the situation works so if need be you can take some little tweezers or you can just kind of twist around your q-tip or whatever brand cotton swab you're using you can pull that diaphragm out and we'll get lower here and i'll show you exactly what i mean you'll you can pull that diaphragm out and you will notice because if it's full of gunk you're definitely going to notice the sound quality and loudness overall significantly increase so that's what i'm gonna do here i'm just gonna kind of push this in here and it's gonna move the diaphragm and then remove the diaphragm. So that diaphragm prevents moisture from getting in and ruining the electronics. That's one thing, right? It prevents the ruining of the electronics, uh, but the flaw is what we're seeing right here. We're humans, your ears are going to excrete wax. That wax is going to cake up, block the sound and, and ruin the whole thing. So I twisted my cotton swab in here a little bit and now the diaphragm has moved to the side and almost flat back there. So typical for me when I'm trying to make a video, it's not gonna go perfect. Well, I have to get something like a little pick or something to get it out. But here's what we have now. So <laughs> what I did, the diaphragm is still in there. Ugh, you can see some of that gunk already coming out. Gross. So what I've done is actually, it, it will be louder now because the diaphragm has moved over and smashed into the wall there, the side of the earbud. But that's one thing you can do. Now keep in mind, if you use these in the rain, if you use these during heavy activities or just an natural production and excretion of earwax from your ear all of that is your earbuds are now compromised uh, because moisture it's more susceptible to get moisture in there so that's something to keep note of and once you your earwax starts making it all the way down in there and starts actually covering the components of what makes the speaker in there little nano speaker uh, you're you're probably now shortening the lifespan of your earbuds so that's something to consider i just wanted to kind of break that down for you if like I said, you're experiencing your earbuds. One side is just getting a lot lower. And the reason being is that side just is winning the race for uh, getting the diaphragm clogged up. And that, that just happens to be the side or the ear that has uh, produced more wax that has gotten trapped in there. So anyway, I hope that that helps you. Apo uh, ah, I apologize for being a little long winded, but name, my name's Ryan for Silly Reviews. At the time of this video, I am on a chase to reach 10,000 subscribers. Uh, it's only taken me almost 15 years to get there. Uh, my videos can be polarizing sometimes, but um, with a, approximately 1,500 videos uploaded, there may be something in there you, you would enjoy. And I'd also appreciate a comment and a like. Thank you so much. Good luck with your earbuds. Ryan here. Silly Reviews.
Sound Reviews.